Deirdre, sorry if I butchered that name, um, asked, hi, Rhonda, for the average healthy person, what diagnostic tests would you suggest for managing health as you age? You have recommended some tests like the omegas or microbiome tests in the past. Could you give a list of which types of tests could be done periodically to inform, you know, preventative actions? Like, um, yeah, so the caveat being that I am not a medical doctor, obviously, I can mention some of these clinical markers that I, you know, time and time again with my discussions with the experts uh, in my own research scholarly pursuits I've come across, I think there's something that I try to keep an eye on in collaboration, of course, with my, you know, qualified medical professional. So um, just keeping just keeping that in mind. Obviously, we've talked about this a lot, and I think one of the most important things is the, the basic lipid panel. Uh, and maybe I shouldn't call it basic because um, there's there's a lot of things that aren't generally measure that you kind of have to ask but like you can you can ask your your general practitioner to measure a lot of these things and they will do it for a fraction of the cost that you will find on some of these other consumer available tests um so some of the things i think are important obviously you'll h so you'll get total cholesterol and all that but hdl particle number and size ldl particle number and size triglycerides um vldl hdl to the triglyceride ratio the tri- like when you get all that stuff you can get all these ratios the triglyceride to the hdl ratio the vldl to the triglyceride ratio um non-hdl the percent of small dense ldl so when you get the particle size you get all the particle sizes um apob part so apob particle um number the apoa1 apob to apoa1 ratio uh, lpa you know, these are some of the just basic, I think, lipid lipids that should that are important. Um, you know, obviously, cardiovascular disease is uh, the number one killer <laughs> globally, uh, at least in all the developed countries. And so, um, those are the these lipid, you know, biomarkers are are things to keep an eye on. And um, of course, in addition to that, you know, doing the homocysteine, so it's a, an amino acid in the blood that might be linked to heart disease if levels are too high. So homocysteine kind of included in that, it's not necessarily lipid, but cardiovascular health panel. Obviously, the basic metabolic panel, so like you're measuring things like glucose, calcium, electrolytes. This is giving information about kidney function, um, you know, muscle function, heart function to some degree, um, hemoglobin a- A1C, so HbA1c that really shows the average blood sugar levels or blood glucose levels over the last two to three months. So um, that's important. Fasting insulin level, um, that's usually l- used to look at insulin resistance, which obviously is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. Then there's um, you know inflammatory, biomarkers that can be done, obviously including high, high sensitivity C-reactive protein. Um, fibrinogen is another one um, that can be done. Thyroid function tests. So you want to do, you know, the, the TSH, free T4, T3, and possibly the thyroid antibodies to assess thyroid health. Complete blood cell count. You want to just look at all the different types of blood cells in the blood, like red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Vitamin D, obviously, uh, measuring that is important. Um, the omega-3 index test, sex hormones, um, so testosterone, estradiol, for example, um, and perhaps even IGF-1 could be something interesting as well. So I would say those are kind of ones that you could even just get your general practitioner to do, you know, for like your your... I don't know how often they're willing to do it, but like you could talk to them and see, can we do it quarterly? Can we do it, you know, semi-annually or something like that? Um, and those are, I think those are uh, pretty standard ones to do. And then there's the, I, we talked about, um, so the omega-3 index test, omega quant is like the leader in that. Um, and then there's the Genova Diagnostics. They do the gut test is really good for them. And that's like for anyone sort of optimizing their gut health I think is good it also does some inflammatory markers as well and um, markers of gut permeability which I think are, are important so I think that is also another sort of good test to do alongside as well with with the um, just general sort of you know lipids and me- metabolic and omega-3 tests 
LP is saying, do you have any online labs that can fill the gap after Wellness FX closed? Um, yeah, so Wellness FX, they have two of their tests, performance or premium, um, that are now being sold through Thorn. So Thorn owned Wellness FX. So they're still going to be providing a couple of the main most popular test um, if you're still interested in having, um, you know, the same sort of panels that were done with like the performance test, which I like. I used them um, as well. Um, Life extension is another one that I also use. And that's kind of one where you they've got like a cardiovascular panel and then you can like add stuff or like you can just like mix and like you can choose like like you can create your own sort of panel that you want to do as well. They're a little pricey, um, but it, it is another option. So again, Wellness FX, a couple of their tests are still being offered um, from Thorn, and then uh, I, I think Life Extension is the other the other one that I I use as well. And then I mean, again, just going to your physician and you know using you know it's it's so much cheaper if you can do it through them uh, as well. That's another possibility. <laughs> 